Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Bridget Bennett. In 2017, the Trump administration decided to end the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program known as DACA. Now that decision is going before the country's highest court. KCAU 9's Washington correspondent Alexander Lamone reports from the U.S. Supreme Court on what happened in that hearing today. It's our top story at 5. Outside of the U.S. Supreme Court, hundreds gathered and cheered for the group of young people who sued to stop the Trump administration from ending DACA. Undocumented! One of the plaintiffs is Ileana Fernandez, a DACA recipient and mother of U.S. citizens. My children deserve to stay with their mother in the place they call home. I hope that the justices can see our humanity. Inside the courtroom, Justice Sonia Sotomayor said the Trump administration is required to give more than six months notice before taking actions that destroy lives. There's a right way and there's a wrong way to do things. The federal government tried to terminate the DACA program the wrong way. California's Attorney General Javier Becerra said the Trump administration did not provide reasons as legally required when ending a program like DACA. On the other side, the government argues they provided multiple reasons why, and they say even if those reasons aren't good enough, the Trump administration is arguing that DACA itself is illegal. Justices Neil Gorsuch and Stephen Breyer, a conservative and a liberal, both said they're struggling with how much power the courts have to review government decisions. The justices are expected to reach a decision by June. In Washington, Alexandra Limon. Well, the DACA argument striking a chord for many people here in Siouxland. According to the most recent census numbers, nearly 19% of people in Sioux City are Hispanic. And in South Sioux City, the number is much higher at 48%. They are productive members of our society, and we need to find a way um, to allow them to continue. And, you know, many of them um, are parents now. They work in our community, they have children, they're raising families, um, but they don't have a sense of permanence.